Howdy folks, welcome to Beards and Camo, I am your super cool host, Bobbo. Um, before I get started, I'd like to ask you guys to hit that thumbs up button right around this area somewhere. I'll wait. And one more thing, if you'd hit that where it says subscribe, right around there somewhere, hit that for me. I'll wait. Do that. Appreciate it. One more thing before I get started on this. Some of y'all might not believe in Bigfoot. But check it out. Mountain Dew does. <laughs> Alright. So I know there's a lot of y'all that think just the thought a Bigfoot, Sasquatch, a Chupacabra, Aliens, Ghost, or even God. It's just dumb. That's your prerogative. There's a lot of us that do. And there's a lot of compelling stories out there. Um, but there's some... There's some that are just... Mm, I hate to say are lies or made up. But some just kind of have even believers questioning and I've got two of those I want to tell you guys because it's raining outside and it's been raining for a couple days so I can't get outside I'm not gonna go out in the rain and uh, and do stuff out there I'm just not going to I've got a lot of arthritis and my feet and ankles are horrible, and they just, well, I hurt, and I don't get around very well, especially in the rain. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to tell these, tell you all these, these two stories. Now, one, I've looked for weeks trying to find out where I come across this. And, well, I just, I, I haven't found it. So I have to try to give it to you by memory. And <laughs> it's crazy. The other one I happened to find this morning. And it's pretty crazy. <clears throat> so this story, this first story, it was um, told in 2015. It was sent into Sasquatch Chronicles and West told this story. Now, mind you, I love Sasquatch Chronicles. Um, if you've never checked it out, go check it out. A buddy of mine was on it, Scott, and uh, it's... It's really cool. There's tons and tons and tons of stories. Um, it's it, it's a good way. It's a, a, a podcast website, 
you can find some stuff on YouTube, but Wes says that it's not him posting the stuff on YouTube. It's on there, and you can find some of the stuff nonetheless. But okay, so this cat, he sends this story in to Sasquatch Chronicles in 2015. And he says it took place in Oregon. It's basically what it does is he goes up. He's this long distance runner guy, so he needs some alone time. He goes up for a run and a hike. Got some snacks in his fanny pack, and he's got uh, he's got a camel pack with some water. He's just gonna stay gone for the day. He's going along, and you know he ends up up on this mountain went off trail bad boy that's just dumb if you don't know the area stay on a trail stay on a pass stay on a road whatever uh, obviously he wasn't experienced in the outdoors because he didn't take enough stuff he didn't take the stuff he should have taken you can get hurt. You're going to need some way to light a fire if you can't make it back. Blah, blah, blah. Anyhow. He gets up here and he basically eats all of his food, all of his snacks. Drinks most of his water. It's starting to get evening. He decides he's going to head down back to... I think it's his aunt and uncle's place. Well, he comes up on this big, uh, well, he comes up on a Bigfoot. He remarks on how beautiful it is and, you know, the evening sun shining on its hair and all that and but yet it looks mean at him and it's hanging on this tree and says it was roughly 10 foot tall just huge kind of gorilla looking thing and uh so obviously he gets you know it's 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 mean mugging him. So he starts backing up the hill. Backing up the mountain. Getting away from him. And he gets like 25 feet away from him. Something like that. And he's backing up as he's going. He trips and falls over. Uh, this log laying there. Falls down. This Bigfoot lunges. Lunges off the tree it's a hanging on the side of. It lands. Straddles him. Brr. Said it's got both of its hands on its knees. And it's straddling over top of him. It starts sniffing. Sniffing down to one side. Down his arm. Sniff down his leg. Sniffs up his other leg. Comes to his other arm. Bites. Bites a hold of his arm. Bites a clean off. Dang. So, Bigfoot hops away, and he takes off with the old boy's arm in his mouth. The 
guy's in excruciating pain, obviously. And, uh, she decides he better get out of there. So he goes back, hikes up to this dirt road that he had come upon earlier. And he's feeling faint. Can't hardly go. <clears throat> he's lost so much blood, obviously. As he sees these headlights coming. Oh my goodness. It's a forest service jeep. He falls out. This forest service guy just happened to be out looking for a Bigfoot. Because he, their, their territory has been encroached upon. And they've been looking for food and stuff. I guess he's worried about them. So that's why he's there. Check on Squatch. So he takes his cat to the hospital and everything's a hunky-dory. That's the end of that story. I'm not saying that Bigfoot, a big, huge... Six to ten foot, super, super strong, five, six, seven hundred pound creature. I mean, even a, just a gorilla has the capability of killing you, of ripping your arm off. Uh, I'm, a chimpanzee has the capability of killing a grown man. And eating him. But. This guy got his arm. Bit off. But then. Hiked back up the mountain. And down the dirt road. Till he passed out and was saved by the forest ranger. I'm not saying it's a lie. I'm not going to say anybody's a liar or they're hoaxing this or anything because I don't know. I wasn't there. But. I would think that he would have bled up, be bled out before he got up uh, to that road. I don't know, man. I'm not a doctor. I'm just Bob. I'm not a specialist in anything. So, all right, there's that one. And this other one. This other story, like I said, I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for at least two weeks looking. Not every second determined, but I looked around and looked around and looked around. I couldn't, I don't remember where I come across that I've uh, watched watched so many podcasts or listened to so many podcasts I've uh, read so many stories uh, over the years so I I don't know but so anyhow so story goes 
that this dude was out. I don't recall uh, what he was doing. He was riding his bike. His motorcycle or dirt bike does come into play. He is riding that. I don't recall if he was hiking or what the case may have been. But, uh, <clears throat> so basically the end of his day, end of his outing, he sees this, uh, well, he's seen this young, uh, Bigfoot that he thought was stuck up in the tree. Of course, he didn't quite know what it was and all that, you know, but that's that's what he described. He's seen a Bigfoot, a young Bigfoot, up in a tree, thought it was uh, stuck in a tree or hurt or whatever the case may have been. So he uh, tried to approach it. Well, here comes Mama Bigfoot. She comes out, she grabs this thing and she jerks it down, you know, and they take off. Cool. If I remember right, he's fixing to leave, and then here comes this lady, this old lady, and she's like, hey, you know, you know what you're seeing, and blah, 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 and they kind of talked, and she's like, well, I just live right down the road, you know, and you can stop in, St stop in any time, and uh, I might be able to show you some things and answer some questions that you might have, and plus, I'd like the company. So he's like, all right, cool. So he stops in. Goes to pay her a visit. I don't recall if it was then that he went home with her or whatever the case. I don't think it was. I think the next time he come out, he uh, stopped in. Say, what's up, you know? Uh... So he goes in this lady's house, and he looks over, and like in the living room area, there is, he says there's two little kid, uh, infant, Sasquatch, sitting on the floor playing with some toys. All right, cool. That's cool. Um, you know, she explains, you know, that uh, she uh, she basically babysits the little ones, you know, and and all that, and uh, helps uh, raise them, you know, the members of this clan, and has done this for a long time. And, uh, all that. And, uh, one point in the, you know, later on in the story, um, this teenage female, if it comes in, a uh, lady wants to, you know, introduce him to other members. And, uh, so, you know, and, uh, so he gets to meet this teenage gal Sasquatch and um, the dad is also there um, uh, the the dad Sasquatch is also there and uh, <laughs> um, the guy says that he just couldn't help but you know kind of you know staring at the female uh, Bigfoot's breasts. Just couldn't help it. He said he got some dirty looks at from the from the the dad uh, Bigfoot. So he quit gawking at her boobies. That would probably be a good idea because, you know, somebody's staring at my daughter's boobies, I'm going to hammer fist them in the top of the head.
so, you know, they're kind of communicating throughout this story, you know, and, uh, she explains stuff and all that, and he, uh, he visits her a couple more times, and, um, she shows him how they like the, 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 the Bigfoots, they, uh, braid her horse's tail and the horse's mane and all that and uh, there was even one point I think that he said that he went out and visited and she had an extent <laughs> sorry she had an extension cord ran to outside and have it had a TV set up out there and the members of this Bigfoot clan clan had uh, well they would gather up out there and they would watch the TV I don't recall what they would watch, what their favorite programs were, you know, I mean, you'd think it might be the History Channel, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, they watch TV. I guess if I had Bigfoot around, you know, and uh and, and and lived on my property and they wanted to watch TV, I would definitely put I would take my TV right here out or at least well, maybe not this TV. This TV is a nice TV. Obviously, you can't see it. I keep gesturing towards it. I'm not going to move my cam. Well, Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. Um, but I'm not, I, I would take an old TV out there and run an extension cord and, and allow them, you know, kick on some SpongeBob SquarePants or something for them or, some Bigfoot tails, maybe Dixie Cryptids or something, you know, I don't know. Whatever they wanted to watch, I'd let them watch it. But so, uh, I guess he just, he kept getting um, the alpha male of the clan just didn't like him coming there and expressed that to the, the lady. And, uh, so, um, he quit going out there and, uh, and visiting. Well, so, yeah, I'm not saying that's not true. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to tell y'all some stories that I've heard. Maybe one or two that I've experienced. And to just do things, show y'all what I like to do. But it's raining, so we ain't gonna go outside and play in the garden today. I was really wanting to do that. Show y'all my garlic that's coming up from last year and See what else is coming up. Plus, I need to clear out a lot of stuff from last year. So, anyhow. There's those two tales. Those two stories. Think what you want.
I do. I think it's pretty crazy, pretty far-fetched, but who are we to say that it's not true? We weren't there. We don't know. The only one that knows for sure is the person that told that story and got himself. And the Bigfoot. Okay, folks. I appreciate you sitting around and listening to this. I really appreciate the support I have gotten. Uh, all the encouragement. My new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you don't know how much I appreciate you being here for me. Watching my videos. Encouraging me. <laughs> I am going to get out. Not in the rain. And uh, do some gardening stuff for the channel. And for my garden. Uh, got a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing. But uh, again, I say I'm not going to get out in the rain and do it. Got more bush bushcraft stuff. Uh, in mind, some catchy cooks throughout the year, um, and fall videos for out, out, out at my camp, and I can't wait to show you guys that, it's just super cool out there. Alright, I'm done yakking at you, thanks again everyone for your support. The ones that follow my channel. Uh, thanks to everybody. All the groups that have encouraged me. To go ahead and keep posting. My very amateur. Videos. On their. Group pages. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, I thank you very much. Everyone who watches my videos, I thank you. Whether you subscribe or not, whether you give me the thumbs up or not, I thank you because I see that you're watching. And yes, I would like you to subscribe, but you're watching. And that's the, that's the main thing that's the most important thing that you guys are watching my stuff and I appreciate it and I'm glad that I can get out there and tell these tales to you and 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 all that I appreciate it I can't tell you how many times and how much I appreciate it I thank you very 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 much to all of you for everything all right y'all be safe out there be very safe and there's a big foot out there that's eyeballing your arms keep behind your back don't let him get your arms Y'all stay away from them sick people with that coronavirus. I'm not worried about it. I know there are a lot of people that are. I'm not worried when it's my time to go. When it's time that, that the Lord wants me to come home. It don't matter if I'm sick or healthy or what I'm doing. The Lord's going to take me home. And I'm a firm believer in that. That's why I'm not worried. But I do wash my hands really good. Alright. Thanks again for everything. Be safe out there. Have fun. And as always, I love you. God loves you. I'm out.